Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. We're glad that you were able to join us today for the September Lunch and Learn, the WCAA membership, What's in it for you? Um, just a little bit of housekeeping information before we get started. Want to let you know that um, we will have everybody in listen only mode today just to cut back on the feedback. And uh, so if you have any questions, there's a question and answer box there where you can type in uh, a question and we'll be reading those um, as we go along in the presentation. I am joined today by Linda Principe, um, a former past president of WCAA National. Hi, Linda. Hi, everyone. Hi, Teresa. It's great to be here. Yes, this year now I am the past president uh, for the national organization. Um, as you know, I was president for the past couple of years. And in my role today, I am the chair of the membership committee. Um, that is the membership committee that is responsible for working with Teresa and the national office um, in creating some of these new projects and programs for the members and um, that is on the national board. So we're really excited to have the webinar and it's great that so many of you had decided to join us today because I know you're in for a treat. So I guess without further ado, Teresa, do you wanna get started? Absolutely. Um, I'm also joined today by my assistant, Ellen Hammond. She will be reading your questions to me and um, either myself or Linda will answer them. So feel free to type your questions in. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ellen. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so just a little bit about us. I'm Teresa Paul. I am the Executive Director of WCAA. I've been here now for just a little over a year. A little bit of history about me. Um, I also was a small business owner um, before I came to work for WCAA. I owned a, um, a PR firm in the Washington, D.C. area. And I specialized in the home and design industry, so I had several interior designers, decorator show houses, furniture stores, that sort of thing. So um, um, I have a background in the home and design industry, although I never owned a work room or sewed, I do have some, some background in this industry. My assistant, Ellen Hammond, has a background in publishing. She's a writer, she blogs, and she's a social media expert, so she handles a lot of the social media um, content for WCAA. So this is a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're going to talk about a little bit about the history of WCAA, where we are presently, and then I'll just move straight into what the benefits are of being a member of WCAA. Um, those consist of camaraderie and networking, um, member savings and discounts, education uh, profiles on the WCAA national website and we do have a special offer today for anyone that joins um, after the webinar. So WCAA was founded in 1987 as a division of the National Decorating Products Association and in 1993 the association left and that is when they formed the Window Covering Association of America which it still is today. We are the only national nonprofit trade association um, in the country that is dedicated to the window covering industry. Our membership includes um, installers, decorators, designers, fabricators, workrooms. It looks like some people are having trouble hearing us. If you cannot hear us, um, let's see what's going on here. Linda, Ellen, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Any of you out there listening, if you can hear us, yes. you can just send a message in. Please let us know that you're hearing the broadcast. I've gotten one. I, okay, I'm seeing some people, no problems. I can hear you. Okay, so um, we will be recording this. So if you're having trouble hearing, then um, please know that you'll be able to log on and listen to this within 24 hours after the broadcast. So I apologize if there's some of you having some issues. Um, it looks like just a couple, most people are, are weighing in saying they can hear us just fine. Okay, so um, as I was saying, we're the only national nonprofit trade association um, in, in the country. And like I said, anybody that has anything to do with window coverings, we are definitely a place that you should be a part of. So what is the mission of WCAA? Our mission is to make available educational opportunities, to encourage a code of ethics for fair practices, 
and to work for the betterment of the retail window coverings industry. Um, the state of the association currently, as of this morning, we have 790 members. We are averaging about four new members per week, and we currently have 19 WCAA chapters. And those are located around the country. So what does a typical WCAA member look like? Well, they're a business owner. They typically have between one and three employees. Their revenues um, on average um, are between $100,000 and $300,000 a year. And we have found that when someone joins WCAA that they are typically a member for seven years, which usually um, when they decide to leave the, end, uh, the association, it's usually because there's a retirement or they're changing professions or something like that. So this is our tagline, WCAA, where you are never in business alone. One of the things that we hear from our members that um, as we travel around and go to chapter meetings um, and when we're at conferences is that um, it can get very lonely because the majority of the membership, you work from home and you're sewing and a lot of you are doing that from a basement. Perhaps you, you have an attic, you have a bedroom somewhere where you're working and it can get very, very lonely if you're working alone. So, um, you know, as, if you join WCAA, suddenly you have now an association and a relationship with 790 other individuals that are, you know, working in the same industry that you are. So if you find yourself sitting in the, in the workroom and perhaps you just have a question about a project that you're working on, you, you've got a whole huge pool of people that you can reach out to and ask the question. And you can have, you know, 10 answers in 20 minutes and it might even, you might even get a solution that you hadn't come up with on your own. Um, I can tell you that um, I was in our Northeast Ohio chapter last week. I got to go visit them for a chapter meeting and constantly I just kept hearing all these stories about how they help each other. Um, you know, when one of the ladies had gone out to do an installation on a Saturday morning at eight o'clock and she was working with a different installer than she normally worked with and he didn't have the right bracket. And so she's pulling out her WCAA list at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning and, you know, had a member that was able to come and help her and save the day. Um, I can tell you that I was visiting the Triangle chapter in um, North Carolina last December, and one of the members there um, was going to have to have shoulder surgery. And here we are, you know, just smack in the middle of the busy season, and she's trying to finish some things up. She's behind because, you know, she hasn't been able to work at her normal speed. And she comes into this meeting, and her husband's walking in behind her with this stack of fabric, and he's passing it out to all of these chapter members that are going to help her, you know, get her projects done and, and turn those out. Um, and I'm sure, Linda, you can share stories that are very similar in the New Jersey chapter. Right, right. No, that's what I was thinking as you were speaking that. Um, now, just back to membership, I've been a member myself for 18 years. And I have been a member that long because I have gotten so much out of the organization between the education aspects and just the mingling with the New Jersey chapter members, um, our, mem our uh, chapter specifically has been in uh, existence for 10 years. And we help each other all the time. Uh, it's just been such a great source of information. Um, I do mostly design work and I use the workrooms who are WCAA members because we have such great collaboration and we all know that we can trust each other. We all think along the same lines. You know, we put the client first. And it's just such a pleasure working with those individuals and, you know, having that type of trusting relationship. Um, we also had an installer join our chapter recently, and I've been using him now the last couple of times. And again, this just all enhances my business in ways that wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have had access to these different people if it weren't for my chapter. Absolutely. And, you know, I got a phone call here at the national office yesterday, and um, it, it's a lady that lives here in the Triangle, and she's a member of this chapter, and she's got a client that's relocating and going to Boston, and, you know, she wanted to find, you know, someone that could help her out there. And so, we, you know, we pulled out our list, and we were able to help put her in contact with a WCAA member up in the Boston area so that she can help this client of hers that has been here in North Carolina make the transition up to, to Boston. Mm -hmm. Right. We had something similar. Uh, someone had reached out to me and asked me uh, if I knew of anyone in the Chicago area 
So, of course, we have a chapter in Chicago, and uh, that particular client then was a direct referral to someone in the Chicago chapter. Absolutely. Um, so I will say that to me, I feel like, and Linda, it sounds like you would probably agree with me, that while, yes, we have discounts in education, and I don't mean to dismiss those at all, that camaraderie and networking are just a huge, huge benefit of being a WCAA member. Um, we have chapters, we have physical chapters, and all of those have Yahoo groups and Facebook pages where the members interact, and they have meetings where they get to go and actually get out and see each other in person. Um, as I mentioned, we have 19 chapters, but we have members all over the United States, in Europe, and in several um, Caribbean countries. And so we have what we call our virtual chapter, and it is actually our second largest WCAA chapter. And they do a lot of really cool things. And I know that Linda, for instance, she's a member of the New Jersey chapter, but she's also a member of the virtual chapter uh, because she likes some of the techie things that they're doing. They have like um, hangouts on Fridays. They have speakers that come in as well and do webinars. Um, so, you know, if you live in an area where we perhaps don't have a WCAA chapter, but you still want to get out there and have those networking opportunities, I would strongly say that the virtual chapter is definitely something to be explored. Um, we are all over social media. Again, thanks to my assistant, Ellen. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn. We have a YouTube channel, and we also have Google+. So again, um, if you have a question, perhaps you're in the workroom, you've got a question, you can throw that up on you know, one of our, our social media sites and, again, have answers back very quickly. Um, we have a very robust LinkedIn discussion group with over 4,000 members on there. Um, so just a great resource for you. So we can t I can sit here and talk about it, and Linda can talk about it, but I'd like to let you hear from some of our, our members themselves. Hi, my name is Seal DiGuglielmo, and I'm the president of the Southeastern Pennsylvania WCAA chapter. Joining WCAA has meant that I have always had a huge pool of information, education, knowledge, and companionship to draw from. I've met so many wonderful people others who are like me, a single person workroom, as well as designers, owners of commercial workrooms, so many diverse people. WCAA has opened so many doors for me. And here's another testimonial for you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Rosemary LeBlanc and I'm the president of the WCAA Charlotte Regional Chapter. As far as my business life goes, I have gone many places that I never would have gone, met people that I never would have met, and accomplished things that I never would have accomplished if I had not been a member of WCAA for the past well, almost eight years now. One of the things that we implemented this year as well, um, we started a, a campaign called WCAA Proud because we did want to hear from our members to see what they enjoyed about being, uh, you know, in the WCAA. So we've started a campaign last year. It's just continuing to go on. We think it may just absolutely live forever in, in the world of social media. And we ask members to to um, document on video or audio why they are a member of WCAA, and we ask them to um, hashtag it WCAA Proud. So here is one of the members from our Triangle chapter telling you about her experience. And what would you sell what to do? One of the best investments I have made as a business owner was to join the WCAA. I have enjoyed many of the benefits that this organization has to offer. Educational webinars, local and virtual meetings, IP discounts, but most of all, I have enjoyed the camaraderie, being in the midst of other professionals that are willing to share their creative and business talents has allowed me to take my business to a higher level. So today, I, Sandy Van Sickle, proclaim that I am hashtag WCAA proud. Share your story, and don't forget, hashtag WCAA proud. I always love having those endorsements from the members because, like I said, I can tell you about it, but when, when it's coming from someone else that's actually been there and done that, I feel like that's just a great testimonial for WCAA. Ellen, this might be a good point for us to pause and see if we have any um, questions that I should answer as we're moving along. Okay. Um, actually...
Well, we're going to keep moving while Ellen looks at your questions and know that we will come back and we'll get those answered for you. Um, as I mentioned, there's 19 chapters. This is a list of the current ones that are around the country. I can share with you that um, next month we've got a board member that is going to fly out to San Diego and talk to a group there that has expressed interest. So um, we are excited about the possibility of adding a San Diego chapter before the end of the year. Um, there are also several other areas around the country that we continue to have conversations with. Um, Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, there's a couple of places in Tennessee, um, also Alabama. So just know that, you know, we want to grow and um, that when we get people that are interested and it just takes a small group of 10 people that come together and say we want to form a WCAA chapter so that we can enjoy all the benefits that um, your membership's enjoying, that um, our national office will provide support. Um, there's documents that we provide. There's an outline. There's a book we send that shows you how to open a chapter. So this is just a little bit of a, a profile about what an average WCAA chapter looks like. They range in size from anywhere from 10 to 95 people. The average chapter size is 25, and um, all of our chapters definitely want to grow, and they are. Like I said, we're adding four new members a week um, at the national level, and I'm pleased to say that at least half of those people are, are joining a chapter as well. Um, as you'll see, that's our WCAA Chicago chapter at a, a meeting earlier this year as well. Um, again, I wanted to show you some of our chapters that were participating in our WCAA Proud movement. We have a lot of fun at WCAA too. <laughs> and here we are with our Atlanta chapter. That is all about our camaraderie and networking. Um, I think we've shared several stories there and, and videos and audio to show you what we're all about. Um, definitely one of the other benefits of being in the WCAA is that we have several industry partners who offer um, discounts to the WCAA membership as well as some additional vendors. Um, this is a list um, currently as of last week of the businesses that work with us and offer discounts. Um, and, you know, they vary. Um, and we'll share some specific examples. Um, I know we have a lot of people on the line. So if you have, um, you know, a, a question about one specifically, maybe if you want to know, let's say, what the Helser Brother discount is, um, at the end of the presentation, we will have an email address up. And you can just email us um, offline if you would, just so we can keep the presentation going. But we're going to show you an example um, of some of these vendors. And here we go. Um, if you look at this slide, it shows you that with some minimum orders, which is four of the industry partners that we brought up, that your savings that you see here in this column are $355, and um, that offsets your national and chapter dues. Um, so it's definitely a very good investment, not just from the camaraderie, but just from a financial savings. Um, Linda, do you want to weigh in on this a little bit? Because I know you were pretty involved in putting this um, part together for us. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I knew that we had discounts, and I do take advantage of the discounts, and I think when I put the chart together and I started thinking about it, I was really blown away by how much we do save. Um, just as an example, with Greenhouse, even just personally, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had an order for Greenhouse that was $2,500. So... I saved quite a bit. Well, now let me think. I should have. I guess it's about seventy-five. No, it's about one hundred twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I guess it's half that um, that I saved on the fabric, and you know that just pays for the membership, and you know it's it just really adds up. Especially a lot of these vendors, like let's say even Rolly and Merrill Landis, they offer a variety of products, so it's not just some of the samples that you're seeing here, like the workroom, we used workroom samples as a, an example for Roly, but they also offer hardware lines, and the same goes with Merrill Landis. They have a lot of different hardware lines, so it doesn't have to just be on Kirsch. You can access 
any of their hard, hardware lines. And I know I ordered hardware within the last month from Merrill Landis, and it was a very small order, but they still offered the 10% discount. So again, every little bit helps and it adds up. And I know my membership is absolutely paid for each year with some of these different products that I purchase. Awesome. Thanks, Linda, for sharing that testimonial. Okay. Um, hi, Teresa and Linda. We have two questions, actually, um, about uh, chapters. Um, the first question is, uh, let's see, is there a WCA chapter in or near Nebraska? That question's from Brenda. You know, Brenda, no, um, we do not have one there right now, um, but as I mentioned, that virtual chapter is um, just really great for people that do live in an area where we do not have a, an existing chapter right now, um, but, you know, it doesn't mean that we won't have one soon, so we are definitely open to going where the, the people are and where they want a chapter, we, we want to grow, so, um, but in the meantime, if you want to take advantage of the virtual chapter and join that, that will allow you to have some extra interaction with members at, at, at a chapter level. It's just done virtually online. Are there any Thanks, other Teresa. Um, Yeah, actually there's one from Buddy and um, their question is how do we reach out to members? And I'm not sure if that's specific to probably, Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Buddy is probably with the network. Mm -hmm. Um, because I know that. Um, so I guess what he'd have to do is really talk to. Uh, I could talk to him, or he could talk to Teresa about that. Um, and that's something I know. The network is one of the industry partners, correct? Ellen, did you say Buddy or Betty? Buddy. I thought she said Buddy. Yes. -D -D Okay. Yes, that's correct. D U D D Y, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. So if yeah, I think if that's the case, he needs to talk to Teresa. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to talk with you, buddy, about getting you in front of the members. You bet. Okay. Well, if we don't have any other questions, I'm I'm actually glad that we got to leave this slide up and let people look at it for a few minutes there. Um. This is something exciting that we added in April of this year. It's called Perk Spot. Um, PerkSpot is a member discount program. They generally only work with companies that or associations that have over 5,000 members. Um, so I am actually a member of an association of professional women, and this was a benefit that I received as being a member in that group. And when I started seeing information about it, I thought, gosh, I want to get this for WCAA. So I called and I talked and really sold them on allowing us to come in, even though we were smaller than what they were used to working with, that, you know, we would really support them and market them and that it would be a good relationship. And fortunately, um, they allowed us to do that. And I can tell you that we have exclusive discounts with over 500 national retail retailers as well as local retailers. And um, that includes travel, um, restaurants, sporting tickets, concert tickets. Um, you name it. I mean, we get discounts at Target and Kohl's and, you know, um, just it's almost hard to find somewhere with that we don't get a discount or at least a category where we don't get a discount. And one of the great things about PerkSpot is, is that if you do have a couple of people that work with you, um, you can offer that to them as well. So that becomes a benefit that you get to offer your employees. Um, all of our industry partners, I mean, whether they have 10 employees or 1,000 employees, they have also been able to make this available to, um, to their employees as well. Um, we get, um, in addition to these 500 retailers, we get a weekly blast. It's kind of like a Groupon, and they are specific perk spot savings that are for our industry, and I was kind of glad that today was our day to get one, and so, of course, I came in this morning, and I had my perk spot blast, and I'll just share with you what some of the specials were today. Um, for example, um, if we want to buy some shoes on shoebuy.com, we get 25% off of our purchase. Um, if we're planning to go see a movie this weekend at AMC, uh, we can take 30% off of our movie ticket price. And um, anybody that has gone to a movie lately knows that um, that can add up pretty quickly. Um, we have a 20% savings um, for eyeglasses on glasses.com. So that was another great one. 
And then here's a name that's all over the country. It's not going to matter where you live. I'm sure you have a Sam's Club um, around you. Um, and right now, Sam's Club is offering just a $10 gift card for anybody that joins or renews uh, with them through PerkSpot. And so that is just another way that our members um, can save money. And I'm hearing from people that just using their perk spot is allowing them to recoup their dues as well. Um, and we've got some stories here to share with you. Hi, this is Teresa Paul, Executive Director for WCAA. I'm in New York City this weekend with my family. We're having a great time and saving lots of money using perk spot. We save money on restaurants, our city pass, and our hotel. We are WCAA proud. Yeah, that was a vacation that I took with my family um, back in May, and I think we ended up saving about $300 um, on that trip just by using our discounts and um, through PerkSpot. Um, and here are some additional testimonies about the Perk Spot. Um, I accidentally flipped through a slide too quickly, so I do want to share with you that one of the great savings that we have that can go to your business um, is that AT&T and Verizon both offer discounts to um, the Perk Spot membership, which is, you know, our WCAA relationship with them. Verizon is an 8% discount and AT&T is a 6% discount. Um, and it doesn't, it's not too hard to get yourself signed up. I know um, our president, Michelle Williams, Williams said that she signed up and she's getting her discount. Our national secretary, Ronica Van Gelder, also is getting 8% um, off. And I personally use AT&T and I'm saving 6%. Um, so, you know, if you use your cell phone for business right there, you can save, you know, some money um, on that. Or if it's just a personal line, you can probably sign up all of your phones. I didn't really think about doing that, but perhaps I should check into that. So, um, and so here are some additional um, savings that people have had. I understand from Ellen that we have a few questions about um, the discounts. So this is probably um, an appropriate time to go over those questions, Ellen. Okay, great. Um, they're referring to the uh, earlier slide with the industry partners. Okay. Um, so the first question the first question is about um, Orion. They are wondering if Orion is still uh, a um, industry partner? They are. Um, they, they certainly are, and there is a discount. So um, I, what we probably should do, Ellen, um, again, if you want to know about a specific vendor, um, just shoot us an email at the end. We'll have a slide up, and then we can answer those just since we have so many people on the line um, that we can keep the presentation moving. But I can tell you, yes, that they're a member, and yes, they offer a discount. Okay. Uh, this question is very specific. Is there a way to ensure that we automatically get the discount once we place out a first order? I don't always remember which vendors offer the discount and forget to ask. Okay. Um, there is actually a, an IP and vendor discount sheet that is behind the member portal. Um, every time we add someone new, we update it, and so you are able to access that as a member um, behind the portal. Um, and you can print it out if you want. It's a PDF, so you can kind of just maybe, you know, tack that up on your, your bulletin board there in your workroom. And when you're getting ready to order, it's something you can reach for and you can call. Um, and most of the time what, what they're looking for is, is you're going to need to provide your WCAA member number and um, that lets them know that you're a member and that's how you will go about getting um, your discount. Um, but yes, and one other thing we do when we send out emails from the national office, um, when we have um, recently added new discounts, what we'll do is, is we'll put in, in the little sidebar there, um, you know, there's new, new industry partner discounts, click here to get the, the most recent um, list of discounts so that you can keep that up to date because it does change. It's not something that we can just put out once a year. As we add new industry partners, they give discounts and we want to make sure that those are getting to you. So. Um, so that's how you can you can get that information. I hope that answers that question. Any other questions, Ellen? Well, um, this one just came in, but you pretty much answered it, Teresa. Um, how do you get um, membership discounts? Do they know who are members and who aren't? And yes. so, yes. <laughs> okay, I think we covered that. If we didn't, if you need um, some additional mm -hmm. information, just follow up on that question, and I'll circle back to you. Okay, so in addition to all of those great um, discounts and in addition to all of that great camaraderie and networking, um, WCAA also offers education. We do that um, since you know members are all over the country and, and actually outside of the country. Um, we do monthly lunch and learn webinars. 
These take place on the fourth Wednesday of each month. There are 10 of those a year, January through October. And let's say that you're planning to attend a webinar, you've signed up for it, and then gosh, you're stuck on an installation and you're not going to get to see it. Did you miss it? No, you didn't, because we are going to record that webinar and we are going to put it behind the member portal so that when you get back that evening or maybe the next day and you want to watch it, it's going to be there for you to watch at your convenience. As a matter of fact, we have several years worth of, um, of these webinars recorded and behind the member portal. So if there's one that you watched in January and six months later you're thinking about it and you want to go back and watch it, it's there for you as well so that you can see that. Um, we do make these webinars available to the public. They have to pay to watch those. Some of you may have actually paid in the past to watch a WCAA webinar. They're $25 um, um, each if you want to go that route, but if you join WCAA, this is just one of the benefits that's included in your membership. We also offer four um, webinars. We call these our special quarterly webinars, and these are exclusive only to WCAA members. We do not market these um, you know, as something that you can pay and watch. You have to be a member to watch these, usually pretty special topics. And again, we record these and place them behind the member portal on our website as well. So this is um, just a sample of the Lunch and Learn webinars, the ones that happen monthly um, that we have done this year. Um, as you look through this list, you'll see that some of them are very specific uh, about like decorative banding or growing your business by design with Ann Johnson. And then we also try to make some that are business related so that maybe it's about how Pinterest can boost your business or, you know, how to make LinkedIn work for you. Um, protecting your work, that if you're going to put your work out there on the Internet, how do you watermark your photos and make it harder for people to claim your work as, as their own? So um, right now, um, we've gone through almost all of these webinars. There is one left here with Ann Johnson um, that will be the uh, fourth Wednesday of October. So anyone joining will be able to watch that webinar. And this is um, an example of four exclusive webinars that we had this year, the, the quarterly ones. Um, we all felt like we got to go to Paris in February when Alexis um, Audette from Beacon Hill came back and gave us um, a presentation and showed us just beautiful images and slides from her experience at the show. Um, last week we had um, Beth with us um, doing Beyond the Workroom to talk about how perhaps you're sitting in your workroom in the morning and you're sewing and you've got a, an appointment at noon. You probably don't want to wear the same clothes, but she, she explained to you how, how you can wear the same clothes, you know. Um, throwing a jacket on and some heels and, and some jewelry can dress up some jeans and a shirt that you maybe had on when you were sewing that morning and you're ready and presentable to go meet a client. Um, again, we've got one more of these special quarterlies coming up in October. Um, Spoonflower is a new industry partner, and as some of you probably know, or most of you, they are into digital printing. They do wallpaper, they do fabric, and they do gift wrap. So we are going to kind of take the mystery out of digital printing and learn about that with Allie Tate um, in October. So um, again, let me let one of our members tell you about our educational benefits with WCAA. Hi, my name is Sue Barry, and I'm a member of the Central New Jersey WCAA chapter. I attended the February Lunch and Learn on Mega Marketing with Susan Costalecki, and I'm still implementing her tips nine months later. She explained how to partner with local businesses to gain new clients, which I'm just starting to reap the benefits of those efforts now. I did a modified trunk show at one of my local town festivals and gained some new interest in my services. This was a fantastic way to jumpstart my year. Um, additionally, additionally, in addition to the, the webinars that we, WCAA, host, um, one of the other ways that we provide education to our membership is keeping everyone up to date on cord safety. Um, I'm sure you all know that that's a hot topic in our industry right now. WCAA is a member of the Window Covering Safety Council. That allows us to stay on top of any changes, laws, um, anything that's before Congress, that we know what's going on and we are able to keep our membership up to date um, on that. Linda, I believe you're a member of, of the task force for WCAA that sits on um, this panel. Am I correct? Yes, yes. I have gotten on to that task force uh, about three, four years ago, I guess, when I became president. So I've been involved and uh, it's really crucial that the, I guess, the, the board members, the head leadership of the board of the WCAA sits on the task force because then we're kept apprised of anything that's happening 
at the industry level, which then we turn around and we alert the members. So, uh, you know, we're all very passionate about cord safety and, you know, we all think about that when we're out in the field selling window treatments to our clients. Um, so we have been involved and, and we meet, I would say, every few months. Um, and then there's a, a big meeting which is held at the Vision Show in January. But we do, we're always kept abreast of, of where we are as far as the, you know, the council is concerned. You know, Linda, one of the um, things that was said to me at the meeting in Northeast Ohio last week was somebody was saying, you know, when I was talking about how WCAA keeps me up to date on, you know, cord safety, they, this person said to me, oh, I can just go out on YouTube and watch how to make, you know, a Roman shade. Why do I need to join WCAA? And I, my, my answer was, well, how old is that video that they just watched on YouTube? Are they sure that, it, that what they saw is still the, the rules? And is that still what the compliance is? Um, so like you're saying, we meet, we know ahead of time, we can get that information out to our membership so that um, what they're doing, what we're putting out, we know that that's the most up-to-date, accurate information. Right, right. No, it is critical because it is a little scary about what's out there on the internet and mm -hmm. that there are... Mm -hmm. Ellen, do we have any questions that perhaps we can stop here and answer? Yes. Uh, hey, um, Linda, did you have anything further to add before we go into some more questions? No, no, I think that's it on that. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have a few questions here. One of them is um, from Mary, and she asks, can we get a copy of the presentation to share with workrooms in Florida? We would like to encourage re-entry to WCAA. Thanks. Awesome. That's exciting, Mary. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, ma'am, we are going to be putting this presentation out on our YouTube channel. Um, Ellen will make a note, and we will make sure that as soon as that's out there that you um, get it. Um, everybody that's on the webinar will get an email with that link so that if you do want to share it with someone else, um, that you can do that. But, Mary, we're very excited to have you do that and stay in touch with us. We would love to see Florida come back in as a chapter, and I can tell you that we've added lots of new members, especially in South Florida, in the last um, probably nine months. Are there any other questions, Helen? Okay. Yes, um, there was one from Marie. Um, she asked, I couldn't find the style webinar, webinar that was offered a few weeks ago in the member portal. Okay, um, it's there, and we can definitely get a link to you. Um, so I'm sorry that you're having trouble locating it, but um, we can certainly send you the link, and we'll make sure that happens when we're here because we want you to be able to watch that. Okay, let's talk about some other ways that we um, keep everybody up to date on what's going on and in terms of educational information that's coming out from WCAA. We do um, two electronic newsletters. The first one is called Window View. It's a bi-weekly newsletter, and actually there's an issue coming out tomorrow. Um, it has industry news, um, things that are gathered up from um, around the, you know, just even the world about the industry, um, and then as well as WCAA news. We put information in there. If we have chapters that are perhaps bringing in a special speaker, we, you know, we put that information in there. Uh, we go around and we look at certain blogs and things that you might like to hear about, and that information is included in this newsletter. Letter. So that is a great resource, and that comes out every other Thursday. Um, our second um, newsletter that we do is called Industry Partner News, IP News. We send that out once a month, and what that is is a special newsletter that where we ask our industry partners if they have any news that they would like to share with the membership. And a lot of times it can be like perhaps Robert Allen is, is introducing a new line of fabric, so they'll make that announcement there. Um, it could be that Merrill Landis is running a special and, and, you know, there's a special savings, so they'll run that information. Um, new products, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, this is a great newsletter that comes out once a month as well. And here's a sample of Window View. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes into your email. And again, it's like, you know, WCAA news, any trends, like the latest trends. Um, you know, we'll put some information in there, like when Sherwin-Williams does a color forecast. Um, and as well as business articles. We like to include, you know, business tips and articles as well. And this is a, a sample of our IP news that comes into our members. And you can see right here that some of our industry partners that were in this particular issue in May 
um, like Rugs That Fits, for instance, was offering a 30% discount to WCAA members. Okay, um, one of the other benefits of being a member is um, your online profile where it's broken out by state. So if there's a consumer that's looking for someone, they can log in to Texas, for example, and see who's a WCAA member. If you as a member need to go look for, you know, a, a, you know, a member in a different state, perhaps you can log in here and you can see all of the members in a particular state. And then this is an online directory where you can see it broken down state by state. We've got the United Kingdom there, you've got the Caribbean, and we've got some members in um, Canada as well. So when I was saying um, that we're pretty broad, we are. We may be the Window Covering Association of America, but it looks like we're covering several other countries there as well. Um, Ellen, do we want to talk about um, some of the additional questions? Has there been anything else come in? Yes, actually. Um, here's a question from Fernando. Um, Fernando, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, his question is, I would like to buy a franchise of blinds, shutters, and curtains in San, San Antonio or Austin. Does um, WCAA help me find, can they help me find that information? You know, we don't have a job board presently. Um, I can tell you that one of the things that we're looking at um, in 2016 is that we are going to redo our website. And we do think we're going to have the ability at that point for people to post for jobs if they're looking, you know, for sales reps. Um, if, if someone wants to sell a business, that sort of thing um, is something that we can make available. I will tell you that from time to time, I do get people calling and telling me this. And um, if it's in an area where we have members or a chapter, I like to send that information out to see if anybody's interested in acquiring business. Um, Linda, do you have any thoughts on this any further? No. Um, I mean, I know we had the Dallas chapter and I know there are some members in the Texas chapter, so maybe we could connect him to some of those current members. Yes, exactly. And so again, because we probably had some, you know, Texas national members. Absolutely, we do. Mm. So we would be glad to help you. With so I think he can get in touch with you directly. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay, Ellen, any mm. other questions before we move on? Uh, yes, here is one from Kathy, actually. Um, she's referring to the Perk Spot member discounts that you mentioned earlier. Um, she asks, how do you get the Verizon discount? Um, if you go on to PerkSpot and you look at the, I believe they're under the technology app, um, and you'll click that and then Verizon will be listed there and you will click and um, there's either a phone number you fill out or a phone number you call or, or there's something that you do online. Um, I, mine's with AT&T, so I'm sorry, Kathy, I don't know about the Verizon process, um, but we can definitely reach out to you offline and help you figure that out. Uh, I have a couple more questions, Teresa, if we have some time. Absolutely. Okay, this one's from Mary. She asks, can you post the dues again? Maybe she's referring to an earlier slide. Oh, I think it's one that's coming up, absolutely. Um, oh. I, I thought we'd get through the questions before I really um, dived into the dues for them, but it's, it's coming, Mary. <laughs> okay, great. And then a comment from Jay who says, um, I, I think they're referring to Fernando's question from earlier. Uh, he says, have him check on LinkedIn. So maybe he's referring to the LinkedIn discussion group that we have. Absolutely. Um, for business. Yeah, I think we're up to close to 5,000 people on our LinkedIn discussion group. You don't have to be a member to be on that group. It's just for people that are in our industry that are interested um, in window window coverings. Um, so definitely, um, I would put that out on our LinkedIn discussion group, and um, we'll reach out to you, Fernando, and give you the link to join that so that you can put that out there. That's a great way for you to, um, to try and find that business that you're looking to buy. Anything else, Ellen? That's it for now. Thank you, Teresa. Okay. Well, we're going to move on and talk about um, joining WCAA. Um, you can join online, and the dues are prorated for 2015 since we are um, rapidly approaching the fourth quarter. Um, it would be $41.25 would be the national dues. Um, $15 is the one-time admin fee. That covers the time necessary for us to get you set up with your, your profile online that we showed. And um, then... Since we are in the fourth quarter, we're going to go ahead and collect the 2016 dues. 
So um, today, if you were to join WCAA and you were to join National, you'd be looking at 221.25. And most of our chapters are prorated for the rest of the year now as well. And the, the dues for chapters do vary um, uh, state to state, chapter by chapter. So, and again, you'll be able to do all of that online at WCAA.org. Um, I will mention that that says a one-time admin fee. That's as long as your dues remain current. If you lapse and come back in, um, you have to be set up again, so that charge would apply again. Uh, Teresa? Yes. Yeah, actually, it's 206.25. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to do the math quickly while I talked. And I oh, right, plus the 15 administration. No, you're right, 221 with the 15 admin. Sorry. Correct, yes. <laughs> I was just adding that quickly. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I was Sorry. Like, maybe that was my quick math not going well. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. As we've been saying, there is a special offer. It's going to be valid until 5 o'clock on this Friday. If you join WCAA before 5 p.m. Friday, you will receive free WCAA membership in that virtual chapter for the remainder of 2015. Um, they have some great stuff coming up yet for the rest of the year, so let me show you um, what that is going to get you. Uh, virtual, virtual chapter would be free for the fourth quarter, and there are two upcoming webinars, one in October uh, with Janelle Deck of the Workroom Channel. They're putting lots of educational things out on that Workroom Channel, as well as installation tips by Tracy Windley um, out of Searcy, Arkansas, and she's from So Elegant Fine Window Designs. And as I mentioned, yes, they do the webinars, but there's all kinds of weekly things that they do. Linda can probably tell you a little more about that. I know they have like a, a Tech Tuesday where they put tips out. They have Hangouts on Fridays. So there's a lot of opportunity for you to mingle and get to know um, members of our virtual chapter. And I will tell you that a whole, almost, I think, gosh, a lot or probably most of our national board members are involved in the virtual chapter. Mm -hmm. Well, I... I ended up joining a couple of months ago because I kept hearing the buzz and it was $25 to join and $25 is really a drop in the bucket, you know, maybe give up lunch for a couple of days and there's your membership and I really felt that it was worthwhile and I have listened to the webinars, um, I listened to the recordings if I can't be on the webinar that particular day and I think definitely it's been very beneficial. Um, Sandra Van Sickle, who was one of the co-presidents, is very, very tech savvy, and she does a lot with the technology aspect of it, and I, I really have been learning a lot and plan to apply more of that to my own business. So just all around, it's great. And if they do join, um, if any of you decide to join and you take advantage of the free offer for the next couple of months of virtual membership, you will have access to some of those um, taped webinars so that you'll be able to tap into that, um, see what you're interested in, and, and you'll be able to hear for yourself some of the webinars and what, you know, what's gone on. Absolutely. And um, if you decide to join, like I said, it's WCAA.org. Um, you'll go online and you'll, you'll join National. You do need to join National to be in a chapter. You'll scroll down and you will click on virtual and you will see that the cost to join virtual for the next two days is free. So just click on that and add that to your shopping cart. Um, so remaining national webinars, I just want to go over those for 2015. We've got Grow Your Business by Design with Ann Johnson of So Easy Windows. And again, that exclusive fourth quarter webinar with Spoonflower um, and Allie Tate working with Spoonflower the basics for interior design. So, I mean, that's still four webinars that we have coming up between the virtual chapter and national before the end of the year, not to mention all the great savings. Um, I'm sure that Perk Spot's going to be used a lot coming up into the holidays. And, um, you know, it's, it's our busy season. So you're going to be out there buying um, things from all of these different industry partners. So why not start saving with your WCAA discount? Um, annually, if you want to know um, about our membership, it's 165 a year. Two years you can join, it's $285, uh, a one-time admin fee again, as long as you stay current, and the chapter dues um, do vary by chapter. Um, one thing I'd like to say is that we would love to meet you all in person. Um, WCAA will be um, exhibiting, we're actually a sponsor of both of these conferences. Um, we'll be in Vegas January 19th through the 21st. We'll have a booth at the International Window Covering Expo. 
And then in February, um, 26th to the 28th, we will be at the Custom Workroom Conference. We um, will have a booth there um, at the Marketplace, and we are also um, sponsoring a social event on Saturday night. We are having a very fun sock hop. So um, if you're planning to be at either of these, please stop by and meet us. And so that's what we have put together for you today. We hope that we have answered your questions about what WCAA is. Um, if you have any other questions, we've got a few minutes left here that we would love to have you type those in, and Ellen's going to read them off. If you have anything that you feel like uh, maybe doesn't apply to the group at large that you would feel like to have us answer, just feel free to shoot us an email at info at WCAA.org, and we will get um, those answers over to you. And I've also put the phone number up there for the national office as well. Ellen, do we have any questions right now that we need to answer? Yes, we actually have a few in the queue here. Let me get started. Uh, let's see. The first question um, is from Marie, and she asks, do you have a HOWS affiliate badge? Um, Ellen, that could probably go to you since you handle most of our social media, do we? <laughs> yes, and uh, I don't believe so. But uh, Marie, uh, I'm going to look into that for you and let you know. But um, I don't believe we have one at this time for WCA. I think, I think we used to. Yeah, I think we used to have, have one. Well, let us let us okay, check into that, and and we can get an answer to that pretty quickly for you. Okay. Good. Um, thanks, Linda, for chiming in there. Um, okay. So the next one is from Christine. Her question is, is the virtual chapter membership free for the remainder of 2015 for current WCAA national members? Actually, Linda, that's, that's a good question. Do you know if they're making that offer? It's only... Oh, for current national members. Yeah, that is a good question, actually. You know what? Let, um, me, let me put that out to Sandra Van Sickle, um, the co-president, and um, we'll get that answer out to you. But it's, it definitely applies to anyone that wants to join right now, um, um, you know, as a new member. Okay. Um, we have a question from Angela. And she asks, are you merged with WFCP at this time? No, we are separate organizations. No. Okay. WFCP is the certification aspect, and that's under Grace McNamara. Who, who also puts on the show, the IWCE vision show in the magazine. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Mary. I am renewing but didn't do so earlier this year. So am I a new or re renewing member? Um, as of March 1, anyone that had not renewed, um, you moved into a lapsed status. So uh, anyone that comes in after March 1 um, is coming in as a new member. So Mary, you would come back in and you will click. N you can click um, returning or new. If you want to click returning, we'll know that you were a former member. Um, but it's not a renewing member. You would be a returning member. It's a good distinction, Teresa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a question. Yeah. Oh, anything further? I was going to go on. No, no. I was just going to say, if you're brand new, you've never been a member, you're new. If you lapsed and you're coming back, you're returning. And um, renewals um, are for people that are an existing member. Like um, our renewals open November 2nd. Um, so anybody that's a current member that's you know staying with the association would be a renewing member at that point. This question is from Ginger. Where is the Custom Workroom Conference? Uh, the Custom Workroom Conference is in Concord, North Carolina. I can tell you that in terms of the educational classes that the conference is full, I think it took about a week for that to fill up. They are going to have a marketplace, though, um, from 1 to 5.30 on that Saturday, the 27th of February. Um, there will be vendors where you can actually buy product, I understand, on the floor, and that there are at least nine 30-minute um, educational type seminars going on on the marketplace floor as well. Uh, 
Um, we have a, a question from Fernando. Um, he wondered if you could mention the prices again, please. He said his connection failed. I wonder if he, remain, if he means the, um, the dues prices. Sure, you bet. Let's put that back up there. Um, this is what it's going to cost to join today. So I'm sure that's what he is asking about. Um, and again, you will pay the, the fourth quarter of 2015. You'll pay your admin fee. And since we are approaching the fourth quarter, we'll go ahead and collect your 2016 dues as well. And then you are um, locked in for you know 15 months of education and networking and savings. So um, come on and join and, 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 and do it today. The special offer will expire at 5 o'clock on um, Friday, this Friday, in terms of getting the virtual chapter membership for free. At that point, um, it's, and, yeah, at that point, you would have to pay to join their chapter. And by 5 o'clock, um, is it Eastern Standard Time? It is. It's 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time because our office is located in Wake Forest, North Carolina. So, um, yep, we will be um, keeping that offer up until 5 p.m. Friday, Eastern Time. Okay, um, we have a question about um, dues clarification uh, from Marie. Will uh, 2016 dues be more than the $165 offered now? No, no. The dues for next year for 2016 for WCAA are $165. We actually had an increase in dues last year. It was the first time there had been one in many, many years, so we are not anticipating another jump this year. We have a question about member benefits from Ginger. Do you offer business insurance? Um, there is business liability insurance offered through one of our vendors, State Farm. Um, so yes, and I believe it's a 10% discount off of the lowest um, quote. So um, whatever they quote you, you would get a 10% discount on State Farm uh, liability insurance. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I've been able to take advantage of that and there is a discount. Okay, here's um, a question about the workroom conference, no name. Would it ever be possible that they would make a webinar package of their classes available for a fee? You know, that's a good question, and I don't know. I know there's about 18 different classes going on, so I don't know um, even um, logistically how they would work that out. That, that would be a lot, a lot of video. Um, and we, we are just, you know, a supporting organization of the conference um, that, you know, it's a question that we could, you know, put out there and let um, Susan know, uh, Susan Woodcock and Roger that are putting on that show, we could ask that question and, and get an answer to you. Right, or they could contact her directly. Yeah, and I don't mind, we can send you their information directly if you would like to touch base, so. And we would love to let them know that that interest is out there. Um, uh, Susan is a member of the WCAA. She's in, in the Charlotte chapter and, and national. Um, and again, she did a webinar for us uh, last month that was fantastic. So, Okay, um, we have a question um, from Stephanie about dues. Is there a benefit to renewing in November versus January? Well, I mean, the savings, if you, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to, we don't lapse anybody until January 31st. The benefit that I would say that I see for you is that if you pay it in, in November, you're going to be able to write it off your taxes that year versus if you pay it in January, you're going to have to hold that for the full year before you can write that off. Oh, interesting. Uh, we have a comment from Kathy um, who's saying that insurance, the insurance discount is not available in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, now see, insurance does vary state by state. Um, that's why we did go with a national vendor, though, um, with State Farm, so that we could try to make that discount available to as many members as possible. Um, I will tell you that through PerkSpot that they offer, um, I mean, even realtor discounts. I've seen insurance discounts on there. Um, so PerkSpot might be a place where our Massachusetts um, membership should look at if they're not able to get it through their State Farm affiliate. Okay. Uh, another question about insurance from Diane. Um, she's saying that her State Farm insurance rep doesn't know anything about the 10% 
um, WCA discount and, and who should she talk to about this? There is a special phone number for that and we'll send that to you. You do have to use um, a special 800 number for that discount. Okay, um, here's a question about dues um, from Diane. Can we just pay the $41.25 for this year now and then the $165 sometime in December? No, unfortunately, at this point, um, when we get into this quarter of the year, um, just because it is, um, it saves time in terms of processing from the national office if you're coming in so that we don't have to touch that file twice, um, it enables us to go ahead and, and get you set up for 15 and 16. Um, it's going to save you time as well because December you're going to be busy with, you know, not just your work, but you're going to be busy with your own family commitments. And again, going ahead and paying it in, in the fourth quarter of this year allows you to take it off your taxes this year as well. So um, it, it's just one of the requirements of WCAA that anyone coming in in the fourth quarter um, is going to go ahead and pay that. We actually went ahead and, and dropped our dues down to $41.25 um, just, you know, as a special offer also um, for now because typically we don't prorate to that amount until October 1. So we wanted to go ahead and make that um, available to our new members as well. Ellen, well, it's, um, it's right it's at one one, yeah, it's right at one o'clock. I think we probably have time mm -hmm. for maybe just one more question, yeah. and then anyone that has um, you know questions uh, that maybe we didn't get to, feel free to like I said, um, send us an email or give us a phone call. Here's that contact information again. Do you, do you have any just maybe a last one we can end with there, Ellen? Uh, that's that's it for now. Uh -huh. well, Awesome. I'm glad that we got to answer all of the questions. And again, if you think of anything um, after we hang up, please feel free to send us an email, give us a phone call. Um, make sure if you're planning to join that you do that before 5 p.m. Friday and that you click that virtual chapter box and get to join that chapter for free for the next um, little over 48 hours. Um, I want to thank Ellen and Linda for being on the line and for helping me today. I want to thank all of you for attending. Um, I appreciate your interest in WCAA and, um, you know, your interest in helping us grow and better the window coverings um, industry. Mm -hmm. And we're always available. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, if that's it, we're going to wrap this up okay. and let everybody get on with their day. Thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Alan.